both uh, station and uh, shuttle flight controllers are confirming. Yeah, we see you slowing down here. Uh, perhaps take a look at the flyout. Just some additional information for you. It looks like the station pitch attitude has decreased to perhaps uh, 8, uh, 0 0.8 to 0 0.85 degrees high now. And we uh, copy Houston. We've taken a look and we have seen no flyout. Okay, sounds great. Chris Ferguson, uh, the shuttle Capcom, uh, confirming uh, to the crew aboard Discovery that uh, the station uh, now uh, actually uh, reverted uh, to the proper orientation. Initiating final approach. Station copies. Houston copies. The two docking mechanisms now precisely aligned, and Discovery is now initiating final approach for docking inside 30 feet. Seated next uh, to Ferguson here in the shuttle flight control room is the next commander. Uh, on the far left of your screen, uh, Commander Charlie Hobaugh, who will fly uh, the shuttle Atlantis to the next docking of the International Space Station in November on STS-129. Twenty-six feet away, Discovery approaching at a rate of about one-tenth of a foot per second. Inside ten feet, uh, what is known as the post-contact thrust maneuver will be armed by pilot Kevin Ford. That basically gives uh, the shuttle an extra nudge after contact and capture to initiate the uh, latching up of the hooks and latches to make sure that the two docking mechanisms are firmly set against one another. Discovery in the International Space Station, 225 miles over the Atlantic Ocean. Discovery now inside 20 feet, perfect alignment. And Discovery, we see you at 13 feet. No need to reply. Just be advised, we're going to have a handover right at docking time, and you are prime for the free drift call between you and ISS. Discovery copies. Station copies.
Post-contact thrust maneuver is armed. Discovery eight feet away from the International Space Station. Standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Inside five feet. Docking confirmed at 7.54 p.m. Central Time over the Atlantic Ocean. Station in Houston from Discovery. Capture confirmed. On the silver anniversary of its maiden launch, Discovery has pulled into port at the International Space Station. Station says the same. ISS is free drift. Both vehicles in free drift, all jets disabled to permit a relative motion between the two vehicles to dampen out and initiate the latching of hooks and latches between the two vehicles. A textbook approach and docking by Commander Rick Sterko. Again, docking occurring at 7.54 p.m. Central Time over the Atlantic Ocean.